Uh, so I'm Joost van Haarn. I am originally Dutch and uh, I'm a, by training a geologist. Uh, have a master's from the, from the University of Utrecht, but also from Yale University, uh, both in metamorphic petrology. And then after that, I came here to Bias for two in 1995 to work as the stable isotope lab manager. And that's how I initially got involved in Biosphere 2. Stayed here during the time that Columbia University was managing Biosphere 2. And I did research mainly in the rainforest then as well, looking at, because I was really impressed with the smallness of the atmosphere relative to, to the amount of biology. So what I thought was Biosphere 2 was uniquely suited for was to figure out how does biology affect the atmosphere. And my interest was with greenhouse gases, especially nitrous oxide. Um, I used that then to eventually go back to uh, the University of Arizona to do my PhD. And I took what I found in Biosphere 2 to go to the real rainforest in Brazil and test that hypothesis. And actually managed to get a conclusive yes on the hypothesis that plant species affect soil microbial communities. And so finished that PhD, came back to the, to the uh, state with the University of Arizona, and right now I'm at Biosphere 2 as a research professor. Um, that, that, in that function, I'm running the rainforest, but I also uh, operate trace gas uh, equipment and stable isotope and uh, analysis equipment. All right, that's it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. So, yeah, Dr. Joost van Heren. Uh, we met at the B2 Cafe this morning and talked about what my summer is going to look like. Um, he was thinking about doing two different projects. One was determining the carbon cycle rate of the B2 rainforest. Um, and so what we'd be doing there is we'd be using isotopically labeled carbon dioxide. Um, and we would measure the rate of photosynthesis, and then that carbon dioxide would be like taken down into the roots and emitted um, as sugar is kind of, kind of goop, I guess, sap, um, into the soil, and then there they would be respired by microbes in the soil. Um, and so we'd be measuring the CO2 consumed and the CO2 being emitted. Um, and determine the carbon cycle rate in that way. Yeah, um, and the other project he was thinking about was doing plant stress tests, so seeing how well they function under increased temperatures. And that would be a, a replicate study of an earlier study um, to see if we can get similar results and that would um, increase the certainty of those results and allow them to publish. So that would be cool. Um, yeah. He said he'd send me lab, lab equipment and software manuals to read over the weekend. So yeah, <laughs> um, we'll see if I can learn how to track isotopes.